Hey there everyone, in this video I want to talk about carrying systems for your cameras. If you're like me, um, you've been getting into cameras for the past couple years now, uh, both GoPros and kind of the higher end Canon, you know, Sony, uh, those type of stuff, uh, which are bigger. Uh, it's, and it's a little harder to carry those around, uh, especially out there on the river where you really need to protect them from both the bumping around and the raft, uh, kayaks, whatever and the, basically keeping them watertight as well. Um, there are a few systems out there on the market. I'm gonna go over a couple of them here. The old system I used to use and then the new system I got not so long ago. Uh, there's pros and cons about both of these and you know I'll go over them as we go. Uh, if you have any sort of questions or comments, leave them down below in the description and we'll talk about them. I'd love to, love to share thoughts about them. I'd love to talk about them with you guys. And if you have any other carrying, kind of camera carrying systems out there, you know, leave them down there as well. I'd love to learn more about them. So, let's get into it, and I'm going to start out with my old system. Uh, my old system used to comprise of these Pelican boxes. This is my box from my bigger camera here, which I'm using. And it's a nice box. It, they're definitely um, durable. Um, I've had this one for a while. I believe I've actually dunked it a couple of times. And, you know, it's taken a beating. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. It's still watertight, which is awesome. Um, the only problem with this box is that I actually have to disassemble my entire camera to actually fit it in here. Um, what I usually carry out on the river with me is a couple of lenses uh, because that's what I've got. I have a kind of a closer in lens and a further out lens. And they go both in here as long as, as well with the camera body, batteries, chargers, stuff like that goes in this box. And with the tight room in this box, as you can kind of tell, this is a smaller box. Uh, there's, I have to travel that way and I travel with everything disconnected anyway and getting there, getting out to the river um, into a spot. Uh, um, I ran into this a lot out on the main salmon when I was doing that where I'd be jumping out of my boat, grabbing my box, running up to a lookout spot um, and having to kind of scramble to put everything together. Uh, I did get pretty good at it but it was still a bit of a scramble to get everything set together um, before the first boat came through the rapid. It's uh, definitely left me in some situations where I didn't get some of the photos I wanted to or some of the video I wanted to and I'm trying to change that up a little bit. Another kind of pro about this box is the Pelican boxes are a little expensive, but you do get your, your price out of them. Um, like I said, this one's been banged up for a couple years now, and it's still going strong. Uh, I'll probably find out another reason to keep this guy around, or another reason to use this. Um, I haven't yet, and you know, until then, I'll probably sit around and collect dust for a bit here. Uh, for my GoPros, um, for my GoPros when I was out on the river, I had the same system. I had this little box here, as you can tell, it's my little GoPro box here with my stickers on it. A um, little, little shorter than my other box, and it's worked pretty well. I carry a variety of GoPros out there with me. Um, at latest, I have had about three in this box, plus their entire battery system, um, you know, some mounting, start, mount, mounting hardware, uh, chargers, extra SD cards, all sorts of stuff in this box. and. As you can tell, with these two boxes um, in a boat, that goes, uh, well, that goes a fair bit of room, um, depending on where you have them. I usually like to keep them somewhere accessible so I can get to them really easy, especially this big gray one. The, this one I don't, haven't really cared about too much. I only really care about getting to it at camp and such. But that's quite a bit of room in a boat, um, especially when you're going through technical stuff. This, th these guys can come up and crack in the head, do all sorts of other damage like that. Um, they are hard, they're great. Um, for GoPros, I really haven't run into the issue of running out of room. Uh, there's still plenty of room in this box. Um, it might still be my kind of storage area for GoPro stuff at the moment, just to say, just to stay a bit more, um, you know, clutter-free, a bit more organized. Uh, but until then, um, that'll be a bit it for this box. My newer system is a bit more of a softer system. It actually comprises of a dry bag, and we're going to get into that here. So a lot of you might recognize this style of dry bag. This is a watershed dry bag. Um, in particular, this is the Shituga dry bag, which is not the smallest bag out there. That actually goes to the little Koei, which I have one of those as well. But this is kind of a nice medium-sized dry bag out there. It would be a great little bag for like a day, day bag. Um, lots of room in this bag, especially if you're a bigger person like me, which means you got a lot bigger and bulkier clothing you got to carry around. This bag would be perfect. It's a very nice little bag. Uh, I actually haven't had this bag out in the river yet, but Watershed, I have a ton of their bags, and they're, they're awesome bags. 
I'm gonna go over a video kind of highlighting the features about this bag, why I really like these bags um, later, but just know that this is a really sweet bag for now. And one of the bigger reasons that this is a really sweet bag for camera systems is actually Watershed actually sells an entire camera, um, you know, padded case to go into this bag. And I have one of those now, I got it. And let's go over it a little bit here. So this is the Watershed carrying bag. It's, uh, I have it set up with stuff in it right now, so I'm not gonna dump it, dump it over. But it's a, a soft bag, it's really soft. It's got these extra little carrying handles on there so you can actually carry it around without being in the dry bag. Uh, and then the inside, like I said, it's all padded. I actually have it set up for uh, my systems right now. I have got extra gear in here. I've got lenses, um, a bigger lens here, and a whole bunch of other stuff in here right now. The great thing about this bag is that it's um, lined with a material that's really grabby to Velcro, so which it works great for this bag because all these little kind of um, dividers and whatnot are all in here by Velcro. So this bag is really customizable. You can change it around as much as you want. Uh, this configuration I actually put together real quick last night. I wanted to get this thing together before I really showed you. Uh, fitting together, like I said, is really easy. It's just Velcro pieces that go in there. Um, so to go over it real quick, I have this big spot up here for my camera. i got a little hood in there right now. But my camera will sit right in here um, with everything on it. The, the lens attached, um, the mic might be a different story, but it'll sit right in here. And I can get in there, grab it real easy, you know, swing it up, turn it on, take the, take the cap off and start taking photos. Instead of having to, like in the, the Pelican case, open the box, pull the camera out, take the dust cover off, put that away, pull the lens out, take that dust cover off, put it away, and then put the whole system together. Uh, this is going to be a lot faster for me, and it'll be a lot easier for me as well, because this is going to be a lot more room for me to work with. So besides having my, the spot for my bigger camera here, and my little lens at the bottom here, I've got the entire um, assembly for power. This is batteries, cables, charging ports. Um, this is both for my bigger camera and my GoPro. So this is all in this little bag, which slides into this little compartment here. And then over here, I got extra stuff. I've got the dust covers for my camera. I've got a GoPro sitting in there right now. I've got a little light in there as well for uh, nighttime stuff or kind of towards the end of the day. And then, like I said, this is just really customizable. I, uh, of course, I got a little card wallet in there as well if I need extra SD cards. But I really like this system for now. I haven't, like I said, I haven't taken it out on the river yet. I'm going to be really excited when I do. Um, unfortunately, that's going to be a little later than I hoped. Um, the the Deso Gray trip I've been talking about here a little bit with uh, some college kids has, you know, been canceled due to the coronavirus, which I'm a little sad about. But you know, life has to go on, and um, hopefully, there soon after that, soon after the end of this month, I'll be hitting either of the the salmon's, either the main or the middle, so I can give a, a definitely a better review of this once I'm done with that. Um, one of the things I have noticed about this bag, however, is that it's actually a little bit smaller than the the Shituga bag itself. Um, I don't know if you guys could really tell here. But this is pretty much square next to my chest, and as you can tell, the, the dry bag extends another couple of inches past the actual padded bag itself. So that, it does make it a little bit easier to put this bag inside of the Shituga bag here. Um, it will fit in there. Uh, if you have a whole bunch of stuff in there like I do, you, it takes a little bit to get in there, but it does fit really easy. Um, with that extra room on the side there, you, you know, you can put extra stuff there. Um, it might be kind of offsetting that this bag doesn't fit like snugly in there. It, it is a little loose. But I'd look at it as a way of adding extra camera equipment in there if you want it to. Um, you could put some non more, like some rather non uh, breakable stuff on the outside. Uh, or like me, you could put extra layers in there. Um, when I packed it earlier today, I actually had like a little rain jacket right here. Just adding more protection for my camera because my camera will be sitting here. And then, you know, just adding something else right there. So you have, you know, your, your usual day bag, if you have a day bag with you, where it has um, some extra pieces of clothing, of course. I usually carry kind of splash gear, rain gear in that gear, in the bag. And then you could have this bag with an additional piece of clothing right there in case you can't get to the other bag. You just get to this one and it'll be right there ready to go if you need it. Um, like I said, I haven't really used this on the river yet. Uh, I'm excited to. Um, but until then, it's going to be something that's going to be sitting around, ready to go if I really need to. Um, 
other than that, if you guys have any other kind of camera carrying systems out there besides the boxes here or the bags for watershed, feel free to share them. Uh, put them down in the comment section there. I'd love to learn about them. I'd love to start discussions about them. You know, I'd love, I just like discussing stuff out there, pieces of gear, you know, rafting, kind of rafting uh, skills, stuff like that. That's why I do these videos. Um, other than that, leave stuff down there in the comments if you have a question or a comment you guys want to leave. You know, the comment section is there. If you guys like this video, a thumbs up would be appreciated. If you didn't like the video, you know, give me a thumbs down. Um, tell me why you didn't like it. Uh, be polite about it though. I'd love to have the feedback. You know, let me get better at this stuff so I could be better at sharing information with you guys. And if you guys are feeling up to it and you like what I'm doing, you know, subscribe as well. Uh, it would be a great way to share these videos out there. You know, get these gear kind of more shared out there. Um, it'd be a big one for me as well because I am actually an affiliate with Watershed now, so there'll be a link to this gear in the in the description. Click that link. Um, if you use that link and you actually purchase anything from the shop there at Watershed, a portion of the proceeds will come back to me, and it's a great way of supporting me um, and allowing me, allowing me to do these videos, allowing me to do more gear reviews like this, and uh, you know it'd be a great thing for you guys to do. Other than that, I will catch you guys in the next video, so I'll see you later.